guys, how you doing? Welcome to American Defender. Today I want to show you how you can take your shotgun shells that you shoot and reload them using large pistol primers. So we're going to take it from this right here to this. All right. That is a CCI number 300 large pistol primer and 12 gauge shell. It's real easy to do. You don't need a press. You need a drill. You need a good pair of uh, fine nose uh, needle nose and something to bang with. I use a punch here. I don't know what size this punch is. I think it's a I think it's five sixteenths. Doesn't matter. Even a little piece of like a quarter inch pipe to tap down in there would work. You just need something to tap the primer in. All right, so I'm going to show you how quick this goes, all right? I'm just going to show you how we do this, how fast it can go. Now, some primers, like on these Winchesters, uh, are a little harder to do because the primer cup is deeper. So what we will do is one of these steel ones, all right? Same process, it's just the steel goes a little quicker, all right? So what we've got here is a number 36 drill bit don't have to use 36 but that's what I have okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill dead center in the middle of this primer just through the cup of the primer there is a little anvil inside there and you do not want to hit that you're gonna hit it so if you do hit it it's okay but as second you feel this go through stop okay so here we go we're just gonna drill this out Okay, tap it out. We're going to take our pliers here, stick it in this hole, and just kind of press sideways up on it, catch the lip of that primer, and we're going to pop it out like that. Okay. When we look down inside here, you'll see that other little anvil. That's the little piece right there that you don't want to damage too much. You've got, it's, chances are you probably will. Okay. Once we do that, simply take a large pistol primer and press it in. Lay it on a flat surface. I got my table here. All right. So here's our primer. Take our shell. Center the shell over the primer. Take our punch or whatever. beat it flush and you're done that's all there is to it so if you've got large pistol primers or if you've got shotguns you need to load or uh, anything like that you can do this now if you have if you happen to have a muzzle loader and you need to do this I would suggest going and getting a few old plastic holes and investing in a press because it's really going to help you because now what I can do with this we'll take this shell for instance right here say I need that primer for my muzzle loader I do all the work on here then I take this shell and I place it in my Lee load all here press it out and now I have my 209 primer or my muzzle loader um, and yeah we can we can safely press this back in here using our press uh, push that back down in there and don't harm it so and they do work um, off camera I've, I've uh, tested a couple of them so uh, there you go quick and dirty way how to do it um, I know right now it's hard to find any kind of primers, but if you can't find 209s and you need to reload shotgun shells and uh, You can find large pistols because I've I've been finding large pistols. Okay, and I don't want to suggest large rifle But if you want to experiment with it, that's on you um, It's just going to be a hotter uh, A hotter primer 
And if you're using something like 777 or something in your black powder shells, then maybe you might want to try that. Uh, but they'll still fit. They're the, same, they're the same diameter as a large pistol primer, for those of you that don't know. The exact same diameter. Um, I've actually heard that, that's, that a small rifle primer and a small pistol magnum primer, the compound inside is the exact same. The difference is the hardness of the primer. So... I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that's the same with large pistol and large rifle. Compound's the same. Uh, it's just a harder primer on a large rifle compared to a large pistol. That's my guess on that one, at least. So, uh, there you go. Uh, you can get this done. And uh, get out there and shoot. Alright? So there's your tip for the day. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you for watching. God bless you. Again, thank you for watching. And uh, take a kid fishing, take a kid shooting, and I will see you all on the flip. Bye now.